you might have noticed that I'm doing something new this month. Usually I make one review video to kind of wrap up the month and talk about every book in that. But I've realised that that's a shame because I think a lot of the kind of gems get lost because that you don't, if you're looking up a, a book and it's, this is all for SEO basically. <laughs> um, but no, I thought I would get back into doing a review per, like a video per book. Um, but I only want to do that once a month because it's more effort if I do it every time I read a book. Uh, so this is the current plan. I may change it next month, but this month it was record a video for every book and then also do a little do a little chat where I just talk about the whole month and my reading for that. Um, so this month I actually read four books um, and I only made three videos. Uh, so this is, well, I read um, Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami, I didn't really like it. Um, I read The Spine Traitor by Ben McIntyre, which was fantastic. Fantastic maybe a bit too strong. It was like a solid four out of five stars, which I don't give away too lightly, um, which was about a uh, spy in the Cold War um, who was a KGB officer and was spying for MI6. Very interesting. Um, and then I read The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh. <laughs> Tosh. Sophie McIntosh. I just filmed the video for this one uh, and I got like a little bit angry because I didn't didn't really like it. Um, but you know, there's that. And then um, the last book I read was The Three Body Problem by um, Xixing Liu. Don't know about the pronunciation. Um, but yeah, so this is a, I'm just gonna talk about this for a little bit because it doesn't have its own video just to give you something about this one. So this is a trilogy. This was published in 2006, <laughs> published in 2006 in Mandarin um, and was only published in English in 2015. And it is the first of a trilogy, science fiction trilogy. And I'd heard that this was just really great. I think it won a Hugo Award or was, yeah, won a Hugo Award and um, like went in completely blind. This starts in the 60s uh, in some sort of cultural revolution in China uh, where uh, the main character in this part of the book um, sees her dad getting tortured to death basically for his belief in the scientific process um, and then it jumps 40 years and I was really busy when I started reading this like a week and a half ago or something um, and realised I just wouldn't be able to actually read it but it's the kind of book that you need to be consistently reading to get um, so I decided to swap and do it as an audiobook um, which was a bad decision <laughs> because it was a lot it was a lot it had time jumps which is impossible in audiobooks and also it was very very technical there's so much like there's so much science in this <laughs> So much science, some pseudo sciencey stuff, um, but like a lot of very technical parts, um, and also a lot of like wild sci fi concepts. <laughs> this goes in just like so many different directions that you don't expect. And I thought, I can't give a good review of this because I barely understand it. I'm not planning on reading the rest of them, even though I think they'd be really good. I think I'd have to read this in the book form to be excited enough to do that. I'm not going to do it, now I've already opened it. Um, but if you're into hard sci-fi and like some technologically advanced aliens, you'd love this. It also is really well written and I could see that, I, I guess I say that about quite a lot of books, don't I? Who am I to say what's well written and what isn't well written? Um, yeah, so I just thought, there's no point in me making a video about this. It's just gonna say like, wow, science. Um, <laughs> why am I even making this video? I'm not even making sense anymore. This is like a no cut science kind of ramble. Um, so this is the issue is that I'd make videos like this every month and we just randomly say stuff about books and it wouldn't really make sense. And um, I thought I would confine that to this video and then try and make sense in the other ones. Let me know what you think about this format. Uh, I, I don't know what I think about it. I just thought I would try it. So yeah, I hope you've had a good month reading. I actually haven't read at all for the past week, which has been really busy. I'm moving studios. Um, so maybe next month I won't have any books to review. <laughs> I'm hoping I will. Anyway, this has been a, this has been a ride. Cool. Love you lots. See you next week, next month.